My name is Juliana and I survived studying law. Barely at the skin of my teeth, but I did. And I have recently discovered that I have a real passion for helping others with information. And this year, it's now 2020, I've tackled a project. I want to assist part-time students with explaining elements in the law that they have difficulty understanding. But before we get to that, I'm going to give you kind of like a law student 101 survival guide, things you absolutely need to know. The first thing is that you have to read and read and read until you want to tip over. And then when you get up, you start reading again. So law has many court cases. And you will note that in your classes and in your notes that your um, lecturers might give you, they will refer to many court cases. In my first year, I actually didn't read those cases fully. And it really, it really bit me because I didn't have a proper understanding of how a court works later on in my life. So please make a note, read the cases. It gives you a real close idea of what it's like in a courtroom and it gets stuck in your mind a lot better, especially the legal principles if you read the court cases. Secondly, I want to chat about notes. Now, in my time, I finished in 2012. The fanciest thing that you could have was a Blackberry. And times have changed a lot. Basically, it's very tempting to just sit back in class if you're a full-time student and press record and then you don't have to focus. The issue is that it's wasting your time. If you take notes, it's been scientifically proven that the information goes in here much faster. So my suggestion is if you want to record, if you want to make a voice note, you're more than welcome to do so if your lecturer doesn't have a problem. But please do take notes because it is going to be very valuable to you. Now I made you a very thick guide and we're working through that one. So. I wanted to page. Okay, so I have my notes back. Number three, if you don't understand something, ask. It is incredibly important. And that's the main goal of my YouTube tutorials that I will be making this year. If you're a part-time student and there's something you don't understand, comment on this video, ask me, and I will do everything in my power to explain it to you. The same applies to full-time time students, actually, but you guys have the luxury of going to your lecturer and asking a question. You might feel a bit silly, so you can also go to them after the class or in their office hours. Because if you don't have an understanding of something, you cannot build on a lack of understanding. Then you will just move backwards and not forwards, and the point of studies is moving forward. Number four, especially for the full-time students, you guys party like rock stars. I know that because I used to do the same and I wasted a lot of time and I actually delayed finalizing my study because of my social life. So if you're a full-time student, don't focus on your social life, focus on your studies. That's what you're there for and studies are extremely expensive. So yeah, trust me, drinking too much will make you feel exhausted. You won't go to class and that's just a downward slope that you don't want to get on. If you are already a law student in your second, third or fourth year and you realize that you've been approaching this the wrong way or maybe your priorities were not straight, don't stress because it's never ever too late to fix it. So how do you fix it? Example, I graduated eventually, barely but I did, and I then decided that this is not the legacy I want to live with. I don't want to have my degree and know that I barely got there. So I then decided to enroll for my master's and I did it part-time. Now, let me tell you guys, part-time studying is probably the diffi most difficult academic thing you will ever do. And I qualified and I got my master's degree cum laude this year. Reason? I really focused this time. So you can fix any problem with focus. Number six, I want to ask you, be a nerd, please. You might feel a little, little silly, go sit in front of class or always having to tell your friends, I'm sorry, I have to study, but take my word for it, it will be worth it. I was a super nerd for the last few years and it paid off. Part-time students, this message is especially for you guys. You have to plan. Planning is going to be your guide because you most probably a very busy person. Could be that you have children, you probably have a full-time job. So planning your weeks, your evenings, your weekends will really assist you to get this done. Without planning, I wouldn't have graduated my master's cum laude. And I think you can do the same. So yeah, just focus and plan. And I'm rooting for you. I really am. Another thing, 
Make use of all the resources you have, including social media. I wish that I studied in the era of social media because everything is just so much more out there. You know, there are Law Blog SA and Law Blog SA2 Facebook groups. There are Facebook groups like that. There are even WhatsApp groups for certain study classes. Ensure that you are on them all because trust me, you're going to get information that you need from those. And you'll also get my videos. So I really hope it will help you. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, click on the button. Trust me, it's going to be worth it. Okay, number nine, take your health seriously. Studying law is taxing and it can really have uh, tremendous effects on your health, your physical health and mental health. Next topic, take your health seriously. I cannot stress this enough. Studying law is extremely difficult and extremely taxing. So you need to ensure that you get the right nutrition. If you don't, take some supplements. And once again, the partying thing comes in. Trust me, drinking too much can make you get sicker easily and you don't want, you don't want to go there. You don't want to get that there because if once you're sick and it doesn't stop and your immune system is down, then it really affects not only your academic career but also your general well-being. Um, mental health is also quite an issue apparently in law circles. I read that recently online. So if you don't feel okay, if you feel overwhelmed, if you feel depressed, get help. Talk to a friend. Um, if you're a full-time student, you can go to the campus psychologist. Believe me, getting help is what's going to help get you there if you are ill in any way. Next up and lastly, realize how damn important you are. As a law student, you're preparing yourself for a life where you will have a dramatic effect on the lives of others. People who go through divorces will come to you for advice. I mean, that's a really difficult thing to go through as far as I understand. And people who have been, you know, done wrong by, they will come to you for help because you're a lawyer and you can help them. If you become a state prosecutor, you'll end up putting criminals in jail. So you guys need to take a moment and congratulate yourself. Even though you chose a really difficult field of study, I want you to know that you're going to make a huge difference in this world. So take it easy, take a few deep breaths and give it your best and I'm rooting for you.